Yo, what's up guys? Anubhav here. Long video after quite a while. But tell me something, am I late for this month's best Android app video? Or are you guys watching videos really, really early? Because most channels upload their best Android apps video on the first of every month. But the question is, how can you have the best applications for that month on the first of that month? Does that make sense? Well, in today's video, we're not talking about that. That was just something I wanted to start with. We have 10 amazing applications for you guys in today's video. So be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. All right, guys. So the first application goes by the name of Microsoft Swift Key Beta Keyboard. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Swift Key Keyboard is not a new Android application. So the reason I have included that in today's list is simply because this is the beta version and it has a lot of cool features. For starters, the main reason why I want to introduce this application right now is now because it's being bought by Microsoft, you've got the direct Bing chat GPT option enabled right from your keyboard. Now, this can be really cool because not only can you search, but you can also change the tone of Bing and how it responds. And you can also chat with chat GPT, basically Bing and, uh, you know, find out and copy text as well as answers or whatever you might require in your day to day usage. It's really cool because, uh, you know, you can come up with cool stuff. You can basically have a search bar, a Google search bar, or I'm sorry, a Bing search bar in your uh, keyboard in itself. A really cool feature. Other than that, uh, most of you guys who use SwiftKey know that SwiftKey has always been a very, very good keyboard in the first place. A lot of cool themes, a lot of options and functionality. And uh, yeah, it's just a fresh addition. And this definitely makes this keyboard way, way more usable because now you can use the power of AI and chat GPT with this. So be sure to check it out. At number two, guys, we've got a really cool application called Flip D&D. As the name suggests, this application does exactly that. All you have to do is give it the D&D permission. And then every time you flip down your phone, you're going to get a sound and your phone is going to go into do not disturb mode. This is really, really cool in public settings or situations where you don't want your phone to constantly keep ringing when you're with somebody important or you just want to use your phone less. Simply turn it on and every time after you put your phone down, essentially flip it, your phone's D&D will be enabled and it'll work just like that. Pretty seamless. Definitely check it out. At number three, guys, we've got an application that I have been using for the longest time. Now, I recently came back to this app. I remember back in 2017 or 18, I used to use this application a lot. And this goes by the name of Lens Distortions. Now, this application has only gotten better. Let me just demonstrate it to you guys and you guys can tell me what you guys think about it. Now, Lens Distortion is basically an application that lets you add a lot of cool distortions and basically light leaks and stuff to your image so as soon as you select the image you will see you can add a bunch of filters the filters are also really really cinematic i might add uh, you can go to typography add different kinds of text whatever you want so let me just add product photography here and let's see how that uh, reacts to that as you can see really cool text however the cherry on top of the cake for this application is actually the light hits and the anamorphic light hits to give your image that extra piece of punch. I used to love this application because it let me edit my photos and give them a special look. I definitely check it out. It'll be linked below. With that said, guys, at number four, we've got a open source application called KeyPass. This is basically a offline password manager. Really cool because it is completely offline, totally open source and secure. And yeah, on your data stays on your phone. So that's a good thing, I guess. Uh, all you have to do is set a master password. I'm going to do that right now. And once you set up the master password, you can store any password over here. You can click on the plus button, add your account name, username, email, and add a different password. There's also a password generator, which is really, really cool. Uh, if you go to settings, you can also back up the data to different storages and it's completely offline. So it's a great way uh, to store your offline data and, you know, just use it whenever you want to find out different passwords. Highly recommend. Check it out. At number five, guys, we've got a really cool application called Tooly. And Tooly is a cool and cute app with more than 100 plus useful tools. You've got text tools, image tools, calculation tools. Basically, whenever you need to do something productive and you need to calculate something, this one app is going to help you. As you can see, if you go to calculation tools, you've got a simple calculator, a percentage based calculator, average, proportional, aspect ratio, etc, etc. Uh, you've also got a lot of other options like generator tools, so QR code, simple number generator. In image tools, you've got resize image, gradient, wallpaper maker, text tools, 
in that you have got text counters, repeat text, remove spaces, suffix, prefix, overall all your tool needs. I think this one application is gonna completely use that. So definitely check it out. It's a super cool app to try out. With that said guys, at number six, we've got a pixel search application. Now, as we all know, Google Pixel phones have this incredible feature where on the search bar in your app drawer, in your stock launcher, you can search anything, not just, you know, the internet, not just files that are on your phone, contacts, anything. One single search prompt gives you a wide list of separate things that you can search. This basically creates that entire thing but gives you more options with the ability to search them on separate applications. Another cool thing is that you can just place the widget right here on your home screen. You can use it as a Google widget. Works perfectly with your Google Assistant with all the search and you know you can search anything. Like if I search car, it gives me different car contacts as well as files that I have with the same name. I can search it on Google, YouTube, different options, etc, etc. And of course, you get the search prompts on Google as well. Inside the application, you can also customize the way the app looks. So you can theme it, add a icon pack, open your default search settings, quick search applications, you can manage and remove them. You can add apps and shortcuts as well to make sure that shortcuts also come up. And uh, yeah. Is just a really cool application because it lets you get that pixel only feature to any Android device so definitely check it out next up guys is not really an application but something really really cool that I hope you guys are using and that is essentially phone link for Windows Windows and Android devices have phone link if you guys don't know about it just go to your Microsoft Store install phone link and pair it with your Android device after that, you can do a lot of cool things with it. Not only things like, you know, accessing your phone's data on your computer, which is super seamless. You can drag and drop files. You get notifications as well as phone calls on your computer. You can pick up phone calls from your computer as well. Cross copying and pasting is really cool. So I can copy something on my laptop or on my computer and that data will be saved on the clipboard of my phone. Really cool for transferring data as well. As I said, you can drag and drop files. Overall, if you're an Android enthusiast and you're not in the iOS ecosystem or the Apple ecosystem and you use a Windows computer or laptop, this is an application that's going to bridge that ecosystem gap for you really, really well. So be sure to check it out. With that said, guys, next up, we've got a really cool icon pack. And this is the current icon pack that I have on my home screen right now. It's called Taco Taco Icon Pack. Now, it's got about a thousand icons, but the icons look really, really cute. They've got these rounded corners, super minimal. If you've used Delta Icon Pack before, you will be familiar with this style so you can definitely check it out i think it looks great on my android home screen uh, with that said let's move on to the next app which is one for kwgt ultimate now this is an application that has a lot of free kwgt widgets as well as wallpapers if you see the style of widget if you like this one i would recommend you to download it because it's free and you can't really go wrong with a good high quality kwgt pack with that said, I know you guys are going to be wanting this wallpaper. So the wallpaper for download will be linked in the description below. So be sure to check that out. With that said, guys, last but not the least, we actually have a game. This is called Linnea and it is basically a really cool puzzle based game. As you guys can see, I really liked the art style and the music of this game. It is a game in which you have to complete these lines and guide people to their objective. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, these were 10 android applications that are really really cool if you guys did end up liking this video feel free to drop a like subscribe to the channel this is Anbhav signing out i'll catch you guys next time you guys have a great day stay safe bye bye